the oral food challenge, the gold standard of food allergy testing. Maybe you've heard of it. Maybe you or your child has even participated in one or several, or maybe you have no idea what I'm talking about. Hi, I'm Hillary Carter. I'm a food allergy mom and advocate and proud member of FAIR's Board of Governors. I've also ushered my two boys through a dozen oral food challenges, so I have a lot of experience to share. Welcome to Oral Food Challenge 101. Let's start with the basics. What is an oral food challenge, or OFC? It is a feeding test where a food is eaten slowly and gradually increasing amounts under medical supervision to accurately diagnose or rule out a true food allergy. This test can happen in a doctor's office or a hospital and usually takes about four hours in order to allow enough time to eat multiple doses of the food and allow for proper evaluation. So why would you do an oral food challenge? OFCs are the next step when careful medical history and allergy tests, including skin and blood tests, are inconclusive. The OFC is a more definitive test because it will show whether the food ingested produces no symptoms, which is considered a pass, or triggers a reaction, which is considered a fail. If you pass the OFC, you are then asked to keep that new food in your diet regularly, which usually means a few times a week moving forward. The pro of an OFC is that you will know for sure whether or not you're allergic to a new food. And anytime you can add a new safe food to your diet, that's a huge win for anyone with food allergies. It's one new thing you can eat and one less thing you have to worry about. The con is that it can be extremely stressful. First of all, you're asking someone to eat a food they've been told to strictly avoid, which may or may not cause anaphylaxis. That's stressful for children, parents, and adults. Second, the mental anxiety of preparing for this day can be tough. It's a really long day. If you're going with small children, it can be hard to entertain them for all of those hours. If you or your child don't like the food or are afraid of eating the food, that can cause a lot of extra coaxing. And if you are told not to eat before an OFC, which is common, you can go ahead and add hunger to the list of issues. And of course, if someone fails an OFC, that's discouraging for all. Third, it's really hard to even schedule these appointments. Clinics that do OFCs are typically booked months and months in advance, so it's a long wait. If you have eczema or environmental allergies, it can be challenging because you're not allowed to have antihistamines for about a week before an OFC. And of course, you have to be well. So if you're a normal kid who deals with normal childhood illnesses, that's another layer of complexity. Is it worth it? Yes. Yes! Food allergy families need answers. We need to be eating food that's safe for us and not avoiding food that's not a true allergen. So while it's a pain and it's scary and it takes a lot of time, yes, it's worth it. As I mentioned before, my two boys have been through a dozen oral food challenges. 10 of them were passes, which means we got to add 10 new foods to their diet. Huge, huge win. But each boy also failed an oral food challenge leading to anaphylaxis. Now, it was really scary and upsetting, but I knew that we were in a safe, supervised situation with excellent medical care and that they would be okay. That all being said, there has to be a better way. Our community desperately needs a new diagnostic tool, a way to diagnose food allergies properly and definitively in a much quicker and more humane way. We need to replace the oral food challenge. Thankfully, hope is on the way. FAIR has launched FAITH, a new multi-million dollar competition designed to promote the development of a new diagnostic test for food allergy. FAITH will attract the best minds to develop innovative technologies that will lead to a simple point of care test to diagnose food allergy. Investigators participating in FAITH will be offered an opportunity to prove their concept and receive modest financial incentives during Stage 1. Those that move their concept forward will have the opportunity for increased funding and ultimately the opportunity to replace the OFC. Not only will FAITH hopefully lead to new food allergy diagnostics that will be more precise, available to all, and empower patients and their families, 
but it will also eliminate the barrier to advancement for other research studies taking place. For more information on FAIR and FAITH, please visit foodallergy.org. This concludes your Oral Food Challenge 101 lesson. Hopefully, OFCs will be a thing of the past in the next few years. I know I have faith in FAIR for my children and yours and everyone with food allergies, and I can't wait to see what happens next. We all deserve a win.